All right, guys, well, we made it to the top of the tram. We're going to check out some of the eateries here. And speaking of food, Friday nights on Pearson happens every single Friday in Desert Hot Springs, a new event you can check out. We got a sneak peek of some of those food trucks. Here's a look. Pearson and it's all about those food trucks that's a big thing in LA you don't see it as much here in the desert that is until now we're having it here in desert hot springs and here to tell us more about it is Eric Eric you work for the city you said the mayor pitched this idea how'd this idea come about yeah the mayor for a long time he's been wanting to help the community uh, not only grow but get help the small businesses get on their feet so over the coming months and uh, he's been really uh, helping us support the upcoming businesses, including all the food trucks. So um, he decided, hey, let's really do something neat where we're bringing the food trucks in, really embrace them. Um, and who knows, maybe they'll end up finding their brick and mortar spot here in our downtown. And, and it's actually, those are the kinds of conversations that we're already having with a lot of these food truck owners. And so his ideas are working and they're, they're coming to life. I love it. Rebuilding the downtown here in Desert Hot Springs. Now, you said this is a little bit of a preview right. of what's to come. Describe that to us. Yeah, so in the coming months in September, you're going to see us transform Pearson. That's why we call it Friday Nights on Pearson. Um, Pearson is a historic downtown. If you look at it, not too many cities have a real downtown, and we're, we're lucky to have one. Um, so Pearson's going to end up converting to this amazing street fair full of immersive artists, artwork, um, and really this collaboration of a lot of small businesses, helping them get on their feet. There's no cost to vendors. There's no fees for vendors to come and set up. Um, and not only that, but we have uh, friends of ours like Papa Heads helping us uh, teach the vendors how to get their licenses, how to get their food truck permits. Um, so you don't need to know anything. You just have to have the vision. You have to have that will. And uh, come Desert Hot Springs, start your business. I love it. How long is this preview going for? So we're having it for, uh, I think, three or four more weeks. Um, and then from there... Um, we're we're going to kind of pivot into that really big downtown vision for the mayor. So you're going to see a lot of cool stuff come. I like seeing what Desert Hot Springs is doing with their downtown. And we've been talking about those food trucks. Should we go see a few, Eric? Uh, let's do it. Let's uh, go check it out. Let's go. Break it down for us. What are we looking at right now? So we're looking at a plain um, tostada topped with our homemade ceviche, layered with our um, water-cooked shrimp, layered with our fresh scallop freshly brought from Mexico, um, drizzled with some chopped onions, and yeah. topped with avocado and our house-made marisquera sauce. Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing. I know it tastes even better. And break down these drinks we're looking at, too. So these are our homemade um, aguas frescas. We have the pineapple and we have the horchata, which is rice water. Love it. Started two months ago and you guys are already doing amazing. How can people find you on social media? Where can they go? So you can go at mariscos.el.berrinche. All right. So sandwich. This is the Chipotle mayo sandwich. I already took a little bike out of it. From TKP. What would you think of the? That and looks amazing. And it has amazing. jalapeno kettle chips. Ooh. They're really good. I work at a restaurant, like work, restaurants in Palm Springs. Yeah. So I'm really, really picky about my food. But this is definitely worth all the hype. Yeah. These guys are almost sold out. They're almost sold out? What did you order from them? Uh, I got the ribs and I came back for the uh, hot link. Can we get a look at it? Yeah. There Check that out. Oh, it smells amazing. That barbecue sauce Check on top. Oh, that's yours. That's all you. <laughs> and I am Uncle D. This is Uncle D's Smokehouse Barbecue and Grill. We are a local vendors here in Desert Hot Springs. My family originated from Georgia, which makes it a little bit uh, unique around here. I've been, I've been cooking on the smoker for over 20 some odd years, um, learning from my uncles and my aunts and my grandmothers. My grandmother had a couple of restaurants. Like them giving their best to the community and that's it. 
so nice to have food trucks here in the valley. You don't have to drive to the coast anymore. We got food trucks right here in the Desert Hot Springs. And on top of that, all of these are incredible private business owners, family owners trying to continue to build their business. So come out and support your local family, support your local businesses. Come to Friday nights on Pearson every Friday night here in downtown Desert Hot Springs. Only happening for a few more weeks. We'll take a little break. They'll be back in September. So come check it out for now. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Oh, looks like you've had some experience in TV. Yeah. Weather. Oh, weather? <laughs> oh, my Chloe! Yeah, I, I do have a little weather, but, you know, I see your commercial share, and, and they're so fun. They're amazing. I used to RV with my family all the time growing up, so I thought this is a great place to work at on the weekends and learn from one of the best, the one only oh, share. Thank you for that. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, yeah. believe me. <laughs> a lot of product knowledge. And here at Mike Thompson RV in Cathedral City, you know, we pride ourselves on our product knowledge and the amount of training that we give our salespeople. Okay. And so there is a lot to learn. And so what we're going to do after we talk for a few minutes is I'm going to take you out and show you some of the different classes of RVs. Okay. Today we're going to look at a Class B, a Class C, and a trailer. And then later there's going to be a pop quiz. Oh, pop quiz. All right. I can't wait. Let's do it. So this is a class B. Okay. okay. And what's different about this is that obviously it's very small quarters. Hey, so now this is a small trailer. A lot of people call them camping trailers, but these are designed to anywhere from 17 feet and they go all the way up to 30 feet. This is a class C. Uh, it's, it's family, very family oriented. There's a bunk on top. So this coach is specifically designed for the millennials. So when you get out into the campgrounds, you can open out the slides and have all kinds of space. It, first of all, they're very affordable. Okay. Second of all, they are designed to sleep anywhere from four to 10 people. It goes off grid. It's got lithium batteries. You don't have to plug in. You're out there in the campgrounds of life really out there. Okay, Chloe, so remember all of the things that we learned outside. Yes. 
So now are you ready for the pop quiz? I'm ready. Let's do All it. All right. Let's do this. Okay. So let's just say that two millennials just walked on tomorrow a lot. Okay. What would you show them? And what's about this? Millennials, they're a smaller family, a lot of exploring, so we showed them a class B? That's all right! Oh, yay! There's a young couple with a couple of small children, maybe even twins. Okay. What are you going to show them? So for that family share, we'd show them a trailer. A trailer, yes, <laughs> very great. Uh, right behind them, there's a family of six. So for that family of six, Cher, we need a little bit more space, so we show them a class C. Absolutely, okay. right on. So, okay, so that looks like you've got product knowledge okay. down pat. So now let's, let me explain to you what's really, really, really important. Here at Mike Thompson RV, what sets us apart from the average RV dealership mm -hmm. is that we're totally committed to assisting our customers in finding the RV of their dreams. And that's very important to us. So we do a lot of product training, but what's important for me and for us, if we're going to work together, is that you are willing to commit to our sales philosophy. The customer doesn't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I think that's something, and I can see it with you every time we get to do stuff together and you really care about the community and making sure our dreams come true. So I, I think that's something I could commit to, too. So, Are you in? I am in. I well, love Well, then people. welcome uh, aboard! Yay! Thank you so much, Cher. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Now, now that we're working together, where can people go for more information? To MikeThompson.com. All right, awesome. Well, I got some training to do before my first day. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Palm Springs Aerial Tramway attracts guests from all around the world. Mukesh is all the way yeah. here from, from India. India. Yes, How right. excited are you to be yeah, here at the train very, today? I'm very, very much excited. Lovely place, lovely place. Wow. All this mountain and valley yeah. and uh, the rocks. Uh, very amazing, amazing. I, I have never seen such place. Really? I have visited entire Europe, Switzerland, but this place I like really? very, very much. Wow, check out the views up here. Guys, we're at the tram, as you know, for the Memorial Day weekend. Beautiful views up here. Now, speaking of the holiday, they are doing a really incredible event at the Palm Springs Air Museum honoring our incredible veterans. So here's a look. 
at the Palm Springs Air Museum right now. I'm in between two P-51 Mustangs. We got the Bunny and we got the Man of War. Both of these planes are going to be flying on Memorial Day in the incredible event they do here, the Air Fair and the Flower Drop. We showed you two planes. We're going to go check out a B-25. They'll also be flying, so let's go check it out. We now have Fred here, Vice Chairman at the Palm Springs Air Museum. Fred, we are standing in front of a B-25. Yes, we Tell are. Tell us about this plane. This aircraft is like the type of airplane that was one of the Doolittle Raiders during the Doolittle Raid during World War II. It is also the airplane that drops our flowers, the type of aircraft that drops our flowers on the flower drop on Monday. So you'll see an airplane like this fly over and drop 6,000 carnations. Wow. Tell us about how you guys started doing this event on Memorial Day. Well, many, many years ago, the idea was how can we do something to commemorate the families, the Gold Star families who've lost someone in conflict. We, we keep kind of trying to make it interesting and try to help people understand that local families actually made a contribution to our freedom. I love it. Yeah, all the veterans that are here in the Valley, such an incredible event. What do people need to know for tomorrow, Fred? Uh, well, we open our doors at about 930. There will be plenty of parking, including remote parking down Gene Autry, which is in the newspaper or on our website or social media where you can find it. Okay. Bring some water, wear a hat. Uh, on Monday, it shouldn't be too hot. That's what the weather is <laughs> saying. There you go. So it shouldn't be too warm, but make sure that you stay hydrated. The event starts at 1 o'clock, and the flower drop will take place at about 1.45. But we're flying all day. You know, T-33, the P-51s that you talked about, the world's only flying PB-4Y. I'm throwing out a lot of numbers, but that's a big four-engine bomber. Wow. So there'll be a lot of interesting airplanes here. I can't wait for the event again tomorrow. Come and check it out. Where can people go for more information? Fred? Go to our website, palmspringsairmuseum.org, or look us up on social media. We're on all of it, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, and Facebook, Palm Springs Air Museum. There you go. Well, guys, we're going to keep touring all these planes. We will see you tomorrow at that incredible event. For now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.
in an incredible performance done by Sir Catalia, the silver unit. And here to tell us all about it is Marjorie Rosenthal. You're the spokesperson for this traveling show. So incredible. Tell us all about this show here. Yeah, so it's a pirate adventure show this year. It's an amazing show. Check out our amazing dynamic water state. It's environmentally friendly as well. And we're also 100% animal free. I love it. You are performing the 25th through this weekend. What can people expect when they come and see this show? You can expect high energy acts here. Have you seen Pirates on Skates? We have an amazing skating duo act here at Circus Cali. How many performers are with this show? So we have about 12 performers, but for the whole team, it's around 55 people that travel 11 months of the year. Okay. So we saw just a little glimpse of two performers. What different acts are a part of this show? We have a lot of amazing acts here. Like you're going to see Russian Swing, an acrobatic trampolina, a mermaid act. Dual straps act, a juggling act, rollable act while he is balancing high up in the air here. And we have a contortion act up in the air with a spear. Oh my gosh, you guys got a little bit of everything with this show. How can people book their tickets? Tickets are available online at circuitalia.com. You can also book them at the on-site ticket office. They're open daily from 10 a.m. through 9 p.m. And adult tickets start at $30 and child tickets start at $15. Prices do vary depending on what seating level you guys choose from. Use our promo code FACEFREE to receive one free child ticket with every adult ticket purchased in levels 2 and 3 only. I love it. And this is such a unique show. These performers are all from all over the world, right? Yes, all of our performers are all around the world, including Romania, Ukraine, Moldova, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, and Peru, and many more here at Circatalia. Well, so many amazing performances only through this weekend, so you got to book your tickets. I'm going to have her teach me how to do that rogue thing. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> amazing up here guys we are at the top of mount san Jacinto park at the palm springs aerial tramway for memorial day weekend as you know they're moving their hours now starting now dinner tells all about it is greg you are the vice president of public affairs and marketing greg, yes greg tell us all about this new holiday season you guys have well summer has begun at the tram memorial day weekend through labor day and we add an extra hour on fridays and saturdays people can come up as late as 9 p.m on the tram and can wait wait until 10 30 at night to come down oh, wow. and the, the views from the tram at nighttime are just spectacular P people don't think about that yeah. at nighttime but when you've got a gazillion lights 
down uh, in the Coachella Valley. It's just really spectacular. It's a great mm -hmm. place to check out and escape that heat, especially during the summer. 30 degrees cooler, you said, up here, yes. right? And there's some informative things people could do, right? So yes, the, the Mount San Jacinto uh, Natural History Association has a series of summer programs, about 20 or so, that are just beginning this week. And these are all-day programs that people can sign up online uh, through our website or through the msjnha.org and uh, they have experience guides that will take people into learning the specifics about the, the nature up here, whether it's what the, the geological formations are or the, the trees or whatever. And it's a wonderful program that the NHA, in conjunction with the State Park, uh, does every summer. I love it. There, It's a beautiful ride up. There's so much that you guys offer here. Speaking of the hiking, we got something we want to kind of check out inside a little yes, bit, Yes, right? let's go on inside to our museum. All right, let's do it. Winter before, you know this is a thing they start every Memorial Day. So starting today, the weekend of Memorial Day weekend, is these nature walks, yes, right? Yes, they have restarted. They, they run from Memorial Day through Labor Day, okay. every Sunday at 11 and 1.30. So as one's a three-quarter mile walk and one is a one and a half mile. And you just go down, they meet at the bottom of the sidewalk here, and uh, a, a state park volunteer takes folks and explains all about what they'll be seeing. I love it. Yeah. And Greg, talk about what's behind this, Yes, this is super this neat. This is new. It's our new touch screen. It uh, shows people, for example, this is an easy hike. This is one of the San Jacinto Peak, Romans Divide, uh, Round Valley Loop. And uh, for folks that maybe can't get out into the state Whoa. park, we have videos uh, showing the map. That's and then so um, actually uh, photos of what they'll see on each of the trails. So this is something that is, is new here, and we're very happy. To, it gives an, a, an expanded experience, as I said, for people who may not be able to go for a hike, but would like to see what's out there. Well, for those that have even been up at the tram, we might not know all the different hikes that you guys offer. So this is perfect to know everything that you guys have, all the different hikes, and it gives you the trail. Yes. Everyone, we are here at Peaks Restaurant, just one of the four locations you can get here at the Palm Springs Tram. You have the Peaks Restaurant, Pines Cafe, Cascades Cafe, and the Lookout Lounge. John here is the chef owner, the proprietor of all those different spots. Head chef here. John, tell us a little bit about all the different eateries you guys have here at the Tram. Well, first of all, our main restaurant is here, the Peaks Restaurant. Um, this is a fine dining restaurant, full service. Um, it's great to come up and check out the views day and night. It's a completely different experience. We also have the Pines Cafe, which is a, more of a cafeteria style grab and go. And so we have a little bit of food options for everyone. So families, kids, and the fine dining. So there's options for everyone that comes up here. I love it. And talk a little bit about, people might not think about this, but when you're cooking at an elevation like this, it looks a little bit different. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, we do have to adjust our recipes because at the 8,500 feet, the um, cooking techniques have to be different, especially as far as baking and um, pastas, even boiling water is a little, takes a little longer. But baking we do in our Valley Cafe kitchen because the altitude's only at like 2,200 feet instead of the 8,500 feet. And when you change the recipes up here, um, I don't like the way you have to add more fat or flour and you just changes the, the texture of the, the dishes you're trying to make it baking at 8,500 feet. Wow, well, we're here in Peaks Restaurant. Can you talk about maybe a couple of the specialties you guys have here at Peaks Restaurant? Well, we have the Colorado Rack of Lamb. Um, right now, um, we're also having the uh, duck confit flatbread, which is a duck confit, uh, yeah. candied apricots, a brie cheese, cremini mushrooms, and with the balsamic glaze, that's on a flatbread. It's fantastic. Okay, that sounds amazing. What an amazing meal you can have here at the top of the train with the beautiful views. Mm -hmm. John, how can people reserve a spot, a table here at Peak Restaurant? Well, the best way is to go to pstramway.com and go to the Open Table app. Well, Greg, it was so much fun exploring the tram with you today. For those that come and visit, they can take part of the tram home with them. You yes. guys have souvenirs. We have two souvenir shops, yes. Uh, people take sweatshirts, T-shirts, magnets for the refrigerators. Just There's all there's hundreds and hundreds of items in there. I love it. So you got to take that home so you can remember this moment we talked to a few of those visiting from india this is a moment they're never going to forget for those that want to book their tickets or come check it out for more information where can they find that pstramway.com well i've had so much fun at this episode hanging out the tram with the incredible greg checking out all the things to do in the valley we're going to ride back down to the desert floor we're going to see you next week for another episode of palm springs and rock see you later